Maharashtra Revenue Minister Eknath Khadse has resigned amid a growing row over his alleged involvement in a dubious land deal. Khadse has also been facing the grave allegation that he communicated on the phone several times with underworld Don Daud Ibrahim wanted in India for the 1993 Mumbai serial blast. For more on that, let's now go across to my colleague Ketki Angre who joins us on the phone line. Ketki, there was growing pressure on uh, uh, Khadse and uh, once uh, the Chief Minister had sent his detailed report to the central leadership. Many had believed that it was only a matter of time before Khadse would be asked to go. Well, that's right. In fact, uh, in this way, uh, Eknath Khadse virtually has uh, handed in his resignation. But what he had done over the last few days, he had already stopped using his red beacon vehicle, which every minister in every government is entitled to. He had already stopped using that for the last few days. Many were wondering if it's a, a sign of rebellion or it's a sign of what uh, things are going to look like. But now with the resignation, it's clear that um, you know it is just very difficult for the BJP to defend their own minister, given the fact that it talked about a corruption-free government and it talked about a corruption-free governance. And at that time, such serious allegations of corruption, uh, you know, not so much with the uh, calls related to underworld Don Daud Ibrahim, but more to do with the land in Bosri, the MIDAC land in Bosri. That was really a difficult thing for the BJP to even try and defend because the papers are very clear on that. Uh, and even when, you know, yesterday he tweeted saying that uh, forget, uh, you know, all the allegations. I don't want to waste my time defending myself on false allegations. It's all an agenda of the media saying let me concentrate on my work as agriculture minister. Certainly 24 hours later, it's a very different picture we're seeing emerging from Mumbai.